What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Dylan. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully, each and every single one of you are feeling fine and fantastic. Yes, we're going to take a look at Season 4, Episode 5, First of His Name, Game of Thrones, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I, I dare say this season has to be my favorite season out of all four of them so far. And we're only five episodes in, so let's see how it ends up. But yeah, I've been really enjoying this season, guys. Um, I've been very tempted to just watch a whole pile of Game of Thrones. But then I have still the Walking Dead fans that um, are waiting for their videos as well. So yeah, I'm caught between a rock and a hard place. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's just do this. Let's watch this episode. If you want to go watch this in full, it's over on Patreon, guys. I know people over on YouTube have been loving the Game of Thrones reactions and been seeing my raging throughout. So, yeah, there you go, guys. We're getting through it. We're getting through it. A lot of people said, oh, you won't even last, you won't even last five episodes when I was watching the first season. We're getting very close to season five, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting very, very close. So, there you go. People say it wouldn't even last this long. There you go. All right, guys. Let's do this. Hopefully, you do enjoy. Let's get it. May the smith grant him strength that he might bear this heavy burden. In the light of the seven, I now proclaim Tommen of the House Baratheon and Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. Long may he reign. Long may he reign. Do you think that the Lannisters are going to last? I don't know. Something tells me that just like something's about to blow. Like honestly, something's about to explode here because there's just too much focus now on the Lannisters. I don't know. People in the comment section, you will know what happens. Yeah, you're probably thinking, "Oh, what is he bloody on about?" Yeah, but I don't know. I just I think like there's a lot of focus on them at the moment. Huh. There you go. He sits the throne like he was born to it. Yes. You still mourn for Joffrey. He was my husband. You never love anything in the world the way you love your first child. Doesn't matter what they do. Amen to that. He will need help. He has you. A mother is not enough. You're still interested in being queen, I take it. <laughs> I haven't even given any thought to it. What comes next? I won't even know what to call you. Sister or mother. <laughs> King Joffrey Baratheon is dead. And we've taken the Marinese Navy, Your Grace. The second son That's... took the Marinese Navy. And just imagine, like, by the time they get there, all this is going to be falling apart. So, that, like, literally, they just, like, they can just walk in and be like, the city's ours, guys. <laughs> I didn't even need the dragons. Literally, everything's going to be falling apart right in front of them. Something tells me, though, that they should have remained in the desert. They should remain in the desert. Because just remember, I don't think in the desert the White Walkers could get there because it's not cold enough. Am I wrong? Let me know if I'm wrong, guys. But I don't think in the desert they would survive, would they? How many ships? Ninety-three, Your Grace. How many men can they carry? Ninety-three hundred. They're tired, dispersed. And now the king is dead. The old houses will flock to whichever side they think will win, as they always have. There's other news. From Yunkai, they've re-enslaved the freedmen who stayed behind and sworn to take revenge against you. He's been overthrown by a butcher named Cleon who's declared himself his imperial majesty. All her hard work is coming undone. Jesus Christ. It appears my liberation of Slaver's Bay isn't going quite as planned. You cancelled me against rashness once in Carth. I didn't listen. How can I rule seven kingdoms? If I can't control Slaver's Bay, why should anyone follow me? You're a Targaryen. You're the mother of dragons. I will not let those I have freed slide back into chains. I will do what queens do. I will rule. Excellent. Maybe that's what she's supposed to do. 
Isn't that what I just said? <laughs> Pull up your hood. Is this the only way into the Eyrie? The mountains are impassable. First Lords of the Vale didn't have much, but they had these mountains. And they knew how to use them. Who would pass the bloody gate? Lord Peter Baelish. And his niece, Elaine. Welcome back, Lord Baelish. Hmm. Bro, well, I don't know. I'd... I still don't trust Lord Baelish. I honestly don't. I honestly don't trust Lord Baelish. He's got an interior motive, I'm telling you. Uncle Peter! I have brought you a gift. Lord Baelish. My lady. Look what Uncle Peter brought me. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Lady Aaron. Don't you think I know who you are? I let him go so he could bring you here. To me. My flesh and blood. It's wonderful to meet you, Aunt Lysa. You mustn't call me that in front of anyone else. Didn't like that. She hugged her then, and she changed from a smile to a... Whoa. Oh my gosh. She wants to kill her. I would never say a thing. The Lannisters want to destroy us. Mommy said they'd killed your mother, and they chopped off your brother's head. They killed my father too, with poison. <laughs> and on top of everything else, Lord Tyrion didn't want to. I don't believe that for a moment. This is your cousin Sansa, but you're not to call her Sansa in front of anyone. It's a pleasure to meet you, Robin. Robin, show Sansa to her chamber. Go. We'll speak soon. I don't know, man. What took you so long? Arranging for the ascension of King Tom and the First. Let's get married tonight. I do think that we could wait until... I'm done waiting, Peter. Like it was yesterday. Yeah, you're right. What wife would do for you the things I've done for you? You gave me those drops and told me to pour them into John's wine. Jesus. Telling her See, he's lamp. conniving. <sighs> he's conniving. He's conniving, man. This is, this is like, this is some crazy right here. The deed is done. Faded into nothing. This is crazy stuff. Crazy. Tonight it is then. <laughs> Once I'm presentable, I'll call on the Septon immediately. I'm going to scream when my husband makes love to me. When will the wedding? Yeah, right. At least she's enjoying herself. And your wedding to Loras? Shortly after Thomas. Shortly? A fortnight. You don't need to make formal alliances with people you trust. The Tyrells are our only true rivals, and we need them on our side. Do you know how much gold was mined in the Westerlands this past year? Pounds, tons, ounces. Doesn't matter, the answer's the same. Our last working mine ran dry three years ago. Hmm, running out of money. There must be someone the Iron Bank you can speak to, come to some arrangement. One stone crumbles and another takes its place. And that's what the Iron Bank is. A temple. There you go. Vesting the Tyrells in the crown will help a great deal in this respect. It's for the good of the family. I understand that. I'm not sure my brothers do. Hmm. But as a judge, I cannot discuss the trial with you. Turned your back on Jamie for refusing to contribute to its future. What does Tyrion deserve for lighting that future on fire? I'm sorry, but uh, with Joffrey in charge, there was no future for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Joffrey, Meryn Trant, Tywin Lannister. Would you shut up? I can't sleep until I say the names. Only the ones I'm going to kill. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can both cross a name off our list. Hmm. <laughs> he wants to kill him as well. If you were here right now, what would you do? A choppy and head off. Go on, get it over with. The list of doomed men. I'm almost done. Only one name left. Go on. The Hound. Hmm. Thank you. Your mother always had a sweet tooth, you know. Really? Oh yes. Eventually, your grandfather had to assign a sect. So I can't remember. Did. Did she have a good relationship with her sister? I honestly can't remember this. I can't remember, like, full details about it. Did she have a good relationship with her sister? 
was important that she remained desirable so father could arrange a good match for her. She never let me have my pudding until I'd finished all my proper food. Marriage changes people. I didn't mean for you to stop. Go on, enjoy them. They're delicious. Where do you get the lemons? You can't grow them up. Peter had three crates brought all the way from King's Landing. I knew you liked lemon cakes. He feels responsible for you. Oh, I know he does. I'm so grateful. Why? Why does he feel responsible for you? Uh-uh. Your family so Loved much. your mother. No. That's what you wanted to say. Cat always went straight for the sweetest thing. The most obvious thing. And now, Peter is risking his life to save you. He hasn't told you about the vile things they do with her body. No, never. Are you pregnant? What the hell's going on here? What if you let Peter do with your body? I'm Lisa, no! I'm a virgin! Don't lie to me! You're hurting me! He loves you, aren't Lisa? All he says is that I'm a stupid! That he's never touched me, not once, not shh, ever! Bruh! Fuck! <laughs> this is this girl! You'll execute that dwarf for murdering the king and you'll be free to marry Rob? Bro, this is crazy. This is honestly crazy. I feel so sorry for Sansa. She's been put into so many situations, man. This is crazy. The hell are you doing? Practicing. That's no way to fight. It's not fighting. It's water dancing. Who taught you that shite? The greatest swordsman who ever lived, Syria Pharrell. The first sword to the Sea Lord of Bravos. Bravos. Outnumbered! Any boy hall with a sword could beat three Marin Tron. All right, you have a sword. Let's see what he taught you. <laughs> I think... I think they were just... There's a reason for that scene. One or two things. They're going to show us something similar to what's going to happen in the future, whether she does kill him or not. Or her realizing that, hey, I have to, I have to use a different approach. I quite literally have to use a different approach because she wants to be a fighter. And if you think about it, the greatest swordsman would have still been alive if he was. If that makes sense. I didn't realize you were a poet. Not a very good one. For one of my daughters. You have several, don't you? Eight daughters. The fifth is difficult. And after I turn sad, I grow angry. You're a Prince of Dawn. A legendary fighter. But you could not save your sister. But I could not save my son. What good is power? That's what I was... I was literally just about to say that. You really believe Tyrion murdered your son? We will have a trial and we will learn the truth. I haven't seen my daughter in over a year. She was swimming with two of my girls in the water gardens. I want to believe she's happy. You have my word. Everywhere in the world they hurt little girls. Mm. Even in the safest places. The best shipwrights in King's Landing have been working on it for months. I will have it sailed down to Sunspear for her. My mother misses her very much. See, now is when we're seeing the emotions come out as a mother for almost the first time. So, we're seeing the character change before our eyes. Did you ever cook anything for Lord Tyrion? No, my lady. She's like, Jesus Christ. Helping you with your armor. I've been removing my own armor for quite some time, thank you very much. Come on, let him help. He kept his clothing and linens clean. Carried his messages and returned the replies. Whilst in Lord Tyrion's service, did you ever do anything remotely related to combat? I killed a man. King's guard. He tried to kill Lord Tyrion at the Blackboard. I pushed the spear through the back of his head. <laughs> Help me with these straps. Hey, get up! They need it in there, don't they? Keep quiet. He's gonna get himself killed, isn't he? <coughs> you need water. You mustn't let anything stop you. 
You're not here. We're far from here. What does that mean? At the hill. The great Weirwood tree. Mira and I. You and Hodor. We're only here to guide you. We're only here to guide you. He's waiting for you. Who's at the tree? You have to make it. We will. Okay. Interesting. Well, we know the end. You'll know. Hmm. All right. How many? Eleven men. Most of them already drunk. I've seen what you can do with a knife. Have you seen what I can do with a knife? There were some hounds chained up inside. New moon tonight. Get some rest. You move at sundown. Stop, what are you doing? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Stop. Please, stop. Stop. You've got pretty hair, don't you? You left your daddy's castle looking for trouble, didn't you? If you let my sister go, I can help you. I have the sight. I can see things. Things that haven't happened yet. Have you seen what I'm going to do to your sister? Don't close your eyes. Oh, come on, hurry up, John. You die tonight. Hurry up, Snow. Hurry up, Snow. I saw the snow fall and bury your bones. Here, yeah, the night's watch. Here's John Snow. Rescue party's here, lads. Is John with you? Nice. I'll take you to him. You're Brandon Stark. Hold on. You're going for a ride, boy. John! John! Oh, he's taking control of Hodo. Fuck! Hodo, get his knife. Bloody Hodo! Amazing. Chosen, mirror, freedom. Go. If he sees you, he won't let you go north. He's my brother. He'll take you back to Castle Black. You have to decide. Do you want to find the Three-Eyed Raven? Oh, no. Damn. We need to free Summer. And we need to go. Damn it. Lord Snow. You're bringing me back for trial. We were free men. You'll never be free. <laughs> You learn how to fight in a castle. You know what's wrong with honor? Oh, yuck. Whoa. Now John's gonna stand up and stab him. See, there you go. Lovely. GG's. Game over for you, you prick. You all right? Come with me. I count ten dead mutineers. Where's Rust? Huh? Someone's gonna get him. Someone's gonna get ya. The wolf. We're in seven hours. I missed you, boy. What should we do with this lot? Mance Raider has an army heading this way, and there's worse out there than Mance. Come with us to Castle Black. Your brother Crows beat us, and worse. We'll find our own way. Huh. Oh. Craster's Keep is no more. All right, guys. Another another fantastic episode. I'm, I'm, I don't know how I feel because at the end there, I feel like Brandon was doing the right thing because if he 
said that to Jon Snow that oh John 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 I'm here then <laughs> maybe his destiny wouldn't be fulfilled and they're saying that his destiny is to get to that tree now what it is at that tree I wouldn't have a clue but there's something important there that he needs to fulfill but yeah at the same time I feel sad because Jon Snow loves his family and he hasn't got many left so I'm hoping in the future Jon actually sees one of his family members again I'm hoping in the future yeah Now, when it comes to someone like Sansa, I feel like her being in that place she's in it is a dangerous place. It's a dangerous place because of the animosity her auntie holds against her own mum. And then maybe she does something to Sansa or tries to do something to her, like get her killed. Because at the end of the day, Lord Barish, if he went out of his way to rescue her, then it's showing the auntie that he has feelings for her, yeah? So I feel like jealousy is going to get in the way there. And the Lannisters, finding out now the Lannisters are running out of money. And you put, you, everyone knows when you run out of money, what happens? People get desperate. So what happens in the future there? Quite interesting. Quite, quite interesting. Just trying to think of other things that have gone on in this episode. But... Um, yeah, Queen of Dragons is at the moment staying to rule as the queen and I feel like that's the best decision that she could do because at the end of the day she doesn't need to conquer everywhere at the end of the day if she's that powerful just keep control of what you got keep control of what you got but yet at the end of the day, you know what her end goal is. And her end goal is to live in a world where people respect each other. But that's the thing. Even if you get rid of the bad people, bad people get developed. Good people turn bad. And that's what will happen. Especially when this is involved. Gold is involved. Just remember that. So... Hey guys, another fantastic episode. If you want to go check this out on forwards over on Patreon, let us know in the comment section if you did enjoy it, and I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye guys.